In this program, we are going to check this pattern. Now we need to notice that for printing this pattern, what we need to do first is to analyze this pattern. So in the problem statement, so if user has entered five as input to the program, then the pattern is going to print five rows. For the first row, there is one star. For the second row, there are two stars and so on. And on the last row, there are five stars. So from this, what we can understand is I am printing stars for I times. Why? I am using I as row indicator. Okay. So in the program, I'm asking user to enter the number and I'm storing into N. Then for rows, I am initializing my variable I to one. So this loop will work for N rows. And the second for loop is doing the magic over here. I'm going to change the condition to j less than or equal to i so till the point j does not reach value of i which is my current row index till that time it will print star so let us see how it is happening in the program assuming user has entered 5 so initially over here i is 1 the condition is true 1 is less than 5 in the second for loop j is equal to 1 and it will continue the iterations till j does not become greater than i so one is less than or equal to one it will print star over here and cursor will move on to the next display unit now j will be incremented to two and the condition will become false because two is not greater than one so this for loop will be terminated and on the next line i have written printf slash n so cursor will move on to the next line because slash n is a new line character and after that i will be incremented to 2 so again 2 is less than 5 so the condition holds true and controller will go inside the for loop and second for loop will be executed so what second for loop is going to do now it will iterate twice for 1 and 2 so it will print 2 stars over here and cursor will be here and once the for loop terminates cursor will move on to the next line so this process will be continued for five rows and the final output would be this and at the end of the program cursor will be at this location